Edford Quarry, now a concrete block factory, was sunk before 1863. It ticked along unnoticed until 1873 when it was reported to be working very broken ground. <clears throat> At least as early as 1887 the pit was owned by Howard James Riddler trading as Edford Colliery Company. Edford had two shafts on an east to west line. In later years, a single two deck cage was wound in each shaft, but when only the eastern shaft was used, a balance weight was used in the other. This was the upcash shaft, having a fire at the bottom and a brick chimney around its mouth. The winding engine and Lancashire boiler was sighted between the two shafts. The engine had a single cylinder working at 40 psi. As like other pits in the Mendibs, underground conditions were poor. On the 22nd of February 1886, an explosion occurred, killing two men and setting fire to part of the workings, which resulted in the lower part of the shaft being sealed off. The pit had coke ovens, which built up good trade in the foundry coke. In 1887, the coal and coke was transported four miles to Radstock State Station for rail dispatch. Riddler was one of the most adventurous colliery owners in Somerset and in the same period a coal washing plant was installed. He even produced briquettes of solid fuel but none of this could save Edford from closure in 1915 when this little isolated pit vanished. Mm -hmm.